Hi, my name is Don Isaac. I'd like to welcome you to the Shiriru uh, Okinawan Battlefield Karate Do series. This volume we're going to cover Empi form, and we're also going to cover Sui Sho, which is the way of the staff or the Dao of the staff. This will be the first weapon form that you learn within the Shiriru system. Empi, the five fundamental elements of Empi, are quick, sharp, bird like movements. We want to work shifting and leaping within the form. We want to work fluid body action. We want to work embusen, which is your foot pattern, and then of course your kihon waza, which is your basic technique. Our first volume, which is the fighting methods of Shiriru Karate Do, uh, covers your kihon waza, your basic techniques, your basic blocks, punches, and kicks. Highly recommended to uh, work a more advanced form, and MP is more of an intermediate type of form. <laughs> First, what I'd like to do is run the form itself, Empi. Empi. Let's run empty again. I'll slow it down and uh, we'll work the finer points of the form. Empty. On the jump, there's various jumping techniques you, can, techniques you can use. You can work a scissor to create a jump, or here are you know, some of those young guys out there with those springs in the legs. We can work a circular jump, circular jump from a standing position and rotate back. Empi. This is my interpretation of empi. I have an assistant with me today, Mr. Jonathan Forrester, uh, one of my students from Atlanta, Georgia. First motion within the form. From here, one, two, three, four, five. Forrester grabs, same side, one, two. I torque him back the other way. And strike dragon fist to the mandibular joint. And then from here, we'll work a finishing move. We'll tuck the arm and work a choke off of that. And get nice and comfortable. Make sure you tap out. Tap out. Always, let me explain this. When you are working with your partner, when you feel the technique, don't let them take a, a, a past a point that you feel it. Have them tap out. Have your uh, a partner tap out when they feel the motion. Uh, it doesn't make any sense for you to go any further and hurt your opponent. You are in charge of your opponent's safety. All right, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, 
four and bury the arm, cover technique off of that. Last movement. One. Next series. One, two, three, four, five. With a finishing movement off the end. Let's go ahead and work it this way, Mr. Forrester. Uh, come on around this way, Mr. Forrester. This side. Mr. Forrester steps in with a right front kick. One. Here's my deflected block. One, two, three. That'll sh after the kick. That will shoot that person back. From here, step down, break the knee, strike, spin. There's the strike. Here's the throw. Pick the person up, and then from there we can work. And from a kneeling position, a V choke. If the person uh, start, is still attacking, a, a good counter to this motion is that person starts driving with those knees. Go, roll back with it, and cover and then choke the person out. You can also work a little strikes in here. All right, let's review that technique again. Come on over. From here, again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, strike, throw, and then the motion says a no push. All right. All right. Next motion. We just got through covering the motion. One, two, three, four, five. You do the same movements going the opposite direction off of that. One, two, three, four, five and then out. Now from there, we, you lay, leave that up, I'll leave that up to you, to you with your own imagination to figure something out. Again, what I'm doing is just working a little bit of theory, throwing some technique out there to open your mind to other technique, what you may see in there. You can keep it basic or you can keep it complex. It's up to you. And this is how you learn, by working the technique and redoing it again and again and again to what feels comfortable for you. The next movement's in the series of techniques. We just covered it here. One, two, three, four. Next motions, Mr. Forrester. Mr. Forrester steps in, grabs, steps in right leg, grab left arm. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that again. Again, Mr. Forster steps in. One, there's the torque movement. From here, make sure you get your strike. One, two, three. From here, strike to the back of the head, and then strike down to the third vertebra. Third vertebra. From there, grab the head, finishing motion. There's a head uh, break. Neck break, actually. Again, one more time. Go. One, two, three, four. Tayuki comes in hard. All right. So we covered this motion, one, two, and the first elbow technique and ended here. The next motions will be one, two, three. Let's work a deeper level the uh, basically a, a Goshindo level of working that technique. Mr. Forrester, first motion, I'm from here, or it's just standing in this position. Mr. Forrester grabs left, one, two, and three, or three. Let's talk about levels of blocking, levels of blocking. First level, we want to work wrist to wrist, wrist to wrist. The next level is slightly below the elbow. The third level is stopping the technique before it moves forward. Come forward. So, in this particular series of movements, you can see the entering motion. I'm getting closer and closer and closer, all right, within any given technique. From here, step in and grab again. One, two, same motion here, three, Stomp, and then a Jujigatami coming in. Leg down, one, two, three, 
two, three. Motion's in here. Let's try that again from a different angle. Ready? And one. One, two, three, and take down. So we ended on the last technique here. Then we do our series again. One, two, three, four, and five. From here, we're going to do our next series. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. Let's just take one of those techniques and work three different uh, aspects or varieties of the interpretation. Mr. Forrester, Mr. Forrester comes in with a two-handed grab. From here, one, two, striking spear hand to the supersternal notch. Second variation, same thing, two-handed grab. One, same motion in here where I come back. Motion. And then the last aspect, the, the third variation, person comes with a right-handed grab. One, two, here we're starting to talk about different levels of blocking, as a, uh, blocking is a grappling motion. Two, and turn the body. And three. So you see it, stay where you're at. One, two. Let's do that one more time. One, see where you are. One, two, and break, or chicken wing, and breaking the neck, snapping the neck. One, two. So you can see the degrees of and levels of difficulty performing, as well as different degrees of executing the technique. A lot of the Shirei Ru system, they have different, there's different, uh, every motion, every conceivable motion the body can make is taught through Shirei. Basically, if you know how to work one basic technique, there's multiple variations. You can go on and on and on and on. That's the great thing. That's the depth of the Shirei Ru system. This is what we covered so far. One, two on the last series. And here. Now the infamous jump, famous jump, infamous jump in MP. What is it for? This is my interpretation. Last movement. One, two. Mr. Forrester. Mr. Forrester's coming with a two-handed grab. Step back a little further for me, Mr. Forrester, a little bit further. Ready? We'll go through it slow and then fast. Two-handed grab. There's the strike. Takedown. With my body momentum and weight, I sit, and then we cover the last technique. We can cover, this is very painful for working a person. This is very painful. It's the same technique. Or we can just press our body weight and then apply a motion in here too. Same motion. All right, let's try that again. Mr. Forcer comes in. Salut! and apply. One more time, a little slower. One, two, and work, work, work. All right, let's do it from one more direction. Come on over here, Mr. Forrester. Two-handed grab, one. Two, three, four, or just lay back and be comfortable. Apply, apply. That is a completion of my interpretation of MP. It's a uh, great form, it's a very pretty form. It has its roots in Tamari, uh, the city of Tamari in Okinawa. With any f of your forms, you must work repetition, repetition, repetition. Repeat the movements over and over again. Work with a partner until they become very fluid with what you're doing. New insights will come out at all time. You'll see a movement and say, wow, I know that. Uh, wow, let's do this technique in here and here. So the idea is that when you work your forms, 
Repetition is the key. Understand the form, understand the theory of the form, the five fundamental elements of each form, and 